Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about the 1998 film Rushmore, directed by Wes Anderson. And I want to delve into the way that the story is told in the film. Specifically, I want to go into Max Fisher's character and talk about how Anderson creates a distinct relationship between um, the form of the film and Max Fisher's character. To start, I want to talk about how Max is able to influence the film. Um, from the beginning of the film, we can tell that Max loves plays. Uh, he loves writing them and directing them, and films or plays are what got him into Rushmore to begin with. His mother uh, saw a play that he wrote and loved it so much she thought that he was destined for Rushmore and he got a financial scholarship because of it. Um, and the film as a whole piggybacks off of this in the way that it presents the entire story. Um, the film takes place from the months of September to January and um, the way that it transitions between these months is the curtain will close on one month and then open up to a different month. And this just symbolizes a play. The movie is being presented as a play. Um, each month is a different act and we get to see how the characters have progressed through each act as the curtain closes and reopens. Um, next I want to talk about how the film directly influences Max's character as a whole. Um, Max isn't shaped by what he does or what we see on the screen. Um, Max is actually dealing with a lot of things internally that we can infer by the things that he sort of, the small things that he does. Um, so let's take a look and see. Uh, during the film, it's quite apparent that others, families, and relationships are pretty big deals. Um, they're all external, we can see them. Um, for example, Herman Bloom, you can see that he's having marital issues. Um, Dirk uh, and his mother, and then we have um, Rosemary Cross and her deceased husband. And Max interacts with all of these people, um, but Max keeps his own family private. His, and uh, we only see his dad once between his, the start of the film and the uh, barbershop and his mother's only mentioned a couple times. Um, so he likes to keep his family private and he doesn't like to be necessarily truthful about his family. But why would that be? Um, well, we can kind of infer by the way he obsesses over things and what he obsesses over exactly. Um, in the film, notice, what does he say is his life? He says two distinct things. He says Rushmore's his life and Miss Cross is his life. Now, Rushmore is the school that his mother wanted him to go to so bad, and Miss Cross is this nurturing female character in the film that Max is really drawn to for some reason. Um, we can also see that he likes to put himself into a lot of extracurricular activities, and that just fills his time so he's not at home thinking about his mother at all. So, really, he's a busybody because he doesn't want to think about his mother's passing.